Welcome to Mindset, where we journey through the realms of mind and body to unlock the full potential of human wellness. Join your host, Alex Muir, as we explore transformative health hacks, debunk myths, and empower you with knowledge straight from the experts. Dive into each episode ready to flex your mind, body, and soul, because your ultimate well-being journey starts right here. Episode 110, we're going to be speaking with my former repeat guest, Anthony Rave. Anthony, welcome back to the podcast. Happy to have you on the show. And why don't you uh, uh, tell our listeners again, like your a little bit about your background, what you do, and let's let's dive right in. Of course, brother. Thank you so much for having me once again after this, uh, yeah, long time without speaking. It's good to reconnect, and I think it's always divinely guided when it's time to speak again for so for such content uh, that will be an asset for years to come. Who knows what, who will listen to this in uh, three five years from now. So I'm very grateful to be here to have this uh, opportunity to talk with you. So to go a bit on my background without speaking too long, um, I'm Canadian. I'm born uh, in Quebec City. I was born in Quebec, so I'm French Canadian. I am currently based out of Tbilisi, Georgia. So Georgia, not in the States, because most people in North America, they have no idea where is Georgia the country. It's a small country on the Russia, next to Turkey, next to the Black Sea. So I moved here in 2018 because my wife is Georgian. And uh, <clears throat> we met online when I was teaching languages. And since then, uh, we we had a daughter. My daughter is three years old. And now we're just about to come back to Canada in uh, maybe a month or two maximum as we're waiting for the last steps of immigration. And of, of course, we will always have this, uh, this beautiful uh, place to live in Georgia because it's part of her of her soul. We cannot just ignore it. So I have my condo here. We we're going to rent this. and. Uh, in terms of career right now, I'm focused on marketing and also coaching. So I'm building a community with my friend Elijah Jetson. So we have a community on school.com on personal development. So it's based for people to align with who they are really, what they want to do in life and let go all the lies, all the distractions and focus on what do you really want to achieve and to become and make it real. So it's called Real Life School actually. So a pretty cool name and, uh, and yeah, for marketing. Uh, marketing, uh, I have experience with the short form editing, with copywriting. So I've been doing this for a while and other kind of social media services over the last year. But yeah, I've been, we can dive into this, into this a, a bit later, but I had a bit of a shiny object syndrome. And uh, over the last maybe 12 to 18 months, I tried a few things and then I finally I came back to what I can do and what I'm good at. But it took me a while as this cycle of, of suffering and painful failures to realize oh wait what is my authenticity where am i myself where am i real and it yeah it took me some time to come back to that so but it's part of the journey yeah no i love that and again welcome back to the show anthony and uh, let's let's start with that we're already kind of talking about it a little bit let's start with you know how you, you didn't let your failures get the best of you. you didn't let your failures or your setbacks um stop you for, from continuing to strive to what you want to right. do and mm -hmm. and who you really are and life is all, is all about a journey and we're all on this journey together and you know there's there's many different paths to go to get to get to where we want to go but none of us know which path to take we just kind of got to be like all right this year i'm going left and i'm gonna i'm gonna see where left takes me and then next year maybe a couple of years down the road right our life seasons change and then we're like, all right, I'm going right this year because yeah. left left didn't really work for me, right? Because in the end, it has to work for our soul, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mindset's all about mind, body, soul optimization. And I'm still on that journey. And, and I love that you shared that with us because um, maybe our goals and our ambitions, sometimes we're like, we're, we're hell bent on making it happen with, with one area. But then along the way, we realized we're like, what the hell like this isn't even my path it doesn't feel right exactly. it's, it's like so it's like it's like it's like pulling apart you know like you're like those, those uh that training apparatus where one person's like trying to run away and the other person's trying to run away right is that rope mm -hmm. and you're trying to r run against the the friction yeah sometimes sometimes that's what life can feel like when we're uh miss we're in we're in misalignment to who we truly are so um Sometimes you know we need to make adjustments and and, um, and and refinements, and it sounds like that's what you've been doing. And and like I'm yeah. proud of you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I think the word misalignment is a, is well chosen right here because I 
tend to say like to be aligned with myself it's a it's a very powerful word because once you start to let go everything which is not you and look this can take some time. just people who are listening or watching us don't expect this to happen overnight especially if you've been conditioned from your childhood to believe a certain like behaviors or certain habits it's totally normal that you will face these moments of like wait a second the society tells me to believe this, that this should make me happy or that this is the perfect relationship or this is the perfect job. But when I do this, I feel horrible. And instead of trying to force it, why don't you really just go inside and ask yourself, is this, is this the right thing for me? And it's okay if it takes like three months, six months. I will give you an example. So I, last year, around June or July, I got introduced to the um, to the industry of commodity trading. So not trading like on stock market, but actually physical gold and oil. Super mega deals, amazing potential commissions. But look, I went into this industry full time without prior training, just like learning as you go uh, as a middleman with the intention to close big deals, go big gold transaction, big oil transactions. This was not coming from my heart. This was m solely focused on uh, how can I make the most money, the fastest, 100K a month, 500K a month, a million, like all these big six, seven figures commissions, which look so delicious, but it's like such a fantasy, such a dream. And I actually, bro, I actually, I'm telling you the truth, after more than one year and maybe some months, none of my friends who are in this industry close anything. I just, yeah. and I, look, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm yeah. sure some of these people who are already like high ranked and or have these connections in real life, but why on earth would they need us as middlemen on WhatsApp and Telegram to close this $100 million deal, a $1 billion deal? I, I was so deluded and I was so convinced that this was the right thing for me. And I literally lived months without any real income just surviving, getting into debts, asking loans. So I let you imagine the, the, the suffering from, oh, it's gonna close this week, then it's next month, then it's never. Yeah. And then you have to promise to your wife, money is coming, money is coming, and the money is not coming. So yeah. I was like just getting deeper and, and I'm very vulnerable and I don't mind sharing this because I, if I can save people from doing the same similar mistakes in maybe a different industry, maybe yeah. they, they want to be a chef, but they, they think they should go in uh, crypto trading. And then they just try and they try and they put more money into it. And then there are 50 K in, in it and 100 K like, bro, now you lost everything. You're from yeah. zero and yeah. you're not even happy with you hate yourself. You maybe your health decline. You stop going to the gym. You ate more sugar or whatever. Like, oh, time out. What's up here? And then you start to have some some signals, some some symptoms, or life will give you some signs to wake you up. Yeah, and it's not gonna be uh, pleasurable. It's not gonna be fun. It's like it's yeah. very very painful. But sometimes that's the only way for you to realize that you're not at the right path. Yeah, you need to make a big change, and you're too stubborn to realize it yourself. So like, God will send you all these obstacles until you're like. Okay, if it's really your purpose, you will continue because you can overcome any challenges when it's really your, your mission. Like if you tell me, Alex, like I would love to have podcasts like you like this and, and everything with personal development, this is in my lane. I know I can do this for the rest of my life. I can speak about this forever. So any challenge you put in front of me, you cannot stop Anthony Rivet from being Anthony Rivet. You can stop him from being a fake one. Like again, like being a broker of something, this you can stop me and I will be stressed with much smaller amounts of stress versus building a personal brand or whatever I'm trying to do right now, like building also as I found my authenticity recently. So you see like this long cycle yeah. to this podcast to today because I was ready to speak about this now. I was not ready maybe a month ago, still trying to like figure something out, but now it's a good time. So yeah, I'm happy we yeah. have. I, I, I was listening to a quote, uh, or I read a quote, like, I don't know, it was like last week or something like that. And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Robin Sharma of the 5 a.m. club. Now, I didn't read the 5 a.m. club because the, the way it was written, it was like, what the? Like, it just didn't resonate with I me. I didn't read but, it either. But, but I wake up some, early. Exactly. But the quote 
uh, read, what's what's uh, what's bad for the ego is good for the soul. Mm. So let let that sink okay. in a little bit. Yeah. Right? So, um, you know, what you went through the the trials and tribulations of navigating business, entrepreneurship, right? Going all in on something. The thing that I admire about you is you went all in on it because you can't tiptoe into entrepreneurship. You kind of no. have to, um, you do have to go all, all, eventually all in on it. Right. Like, and I yep. totally believe that it is possible to do it the way that I've been doing it is I'm really focused on building my personal brand part-time outside of my working hours because mm -hmm. I, I have a, I have a home. I got to support me and my, me and my wife. Yep. We support each other. Um, but eventually, yes, down the road, my long-term goal is to go full time on my personal brand. Right. I, I, I totally see that happening, but yeah, I'm also realistic too. Right. Like I got, like when you have a job, the, the income's consistent, but when you have yeah. your business, it's not consistent. It can be wildly inconsistent. You can make 10,000 then yeah. 500 and then mm -hmm. 5,000. So with all that in mind, um, and then even, even Warren Buffett says it, he's like, always be measuring your downside the top in the, the top investors in the world they're always watching their their downside because it can change yeah. like that so with all that said right you do eventually have to go in all in on your business or your personal brand but you don't have to do it immediately you can eventually right once right. like my, my, i was talking to my dad about it because that my mom and dad had their business and eventually right when you like you said you're getting the clients a slower build's a better build. If it's if it's rapid and all of a sudden you're getting a whole bunch, could be a sign of danger because yeah, it, right. Because some people they if they don't grow into that incrementally and then they get all these clients all of a sudden, and they haven't grown into that level of entrepreneurship yet, it can hit you like a tidal wave all of a sudden too. Mm -hmm. And then and then when those clients dry up, you've got nothing. So mm, yeah, that's why I love the idea of incremental business building right that that's what will work for me um and i know other people like like tim ferris says like moonlighting right where you're doing evenings and weekends for years yeah and then if, and then then you know right and then if it's if you're if you're working on it every single day and then eventually it doesn't catch on then you can pivot then you can like okay what do i have to refine here to make this work right yeah just because it doesn't work then or right away doesn't mean it's not going to work sometimes you just have like you said you make adjustments or um, the type of industry that you're in is not a fit for you. You need to change industries or yeah. it, could, it could be a whole bunch of different things. But the biggest thing that I've been learning is we can hit that reset button as many times as we need to. And it, and no matter the amount of failures, as long as we keep going, we'll eventually reach what we're trying to reach. And you're not, you never forget what you learn from the other types, the other times. So, so look, when I first started marketing in 2022, so I was a language teacher then uh, COVID, yeah, the restrictions start to be very uh, like relaxed, loosen up. So I started marketing because I didn't have any other skills than language teaching back at that summer, uh, almost two years ago. So I did this for almost a year before going into gold and oil. I was doing marketing. And then exactly as you said, I had two big clients who left and that took a big hit on my uh, monthly retainers. So I'm like, ah, oh, now I need something new. If I had just kept hammering outreach and finding new clients to replace these people instead of quitting and jumping on the next shiny thing, bro, my agency now would be a very, very stable a year later, but I didn't do this. So I went on something else and then on to something else. So now I'm back to this uh, marketing thing, but I, from everything I learned in the past, now I can use it as I can reapply it in different ways. You never start from scratch. So anybody who's listening and maybe is a bit discouraged, yeah, but if I do this, like it's, it is from the beginning. While you bring all your background, even from, from high school, from college, everything you learn, like it might seem insignificant uh, what you learn in school and everything, but actually you, you also learn how to study, you learn how to work, how to be disciplined, how to get finished things on, on time, having deadlines, um, networking. So like all these skills, if you drop just the labels of, of this kind of school is bad. You can make the best of anything, bro. I really believe so. Like, any paid network, any job, you can always find a way. How is this going to support me, serve me in the next step in my biggest dream? And that's how I try to live my life. And contrary to you, I didn't have this job stability. And to, for people who are, are listening, me being on the other side, 
I can confirm that if I had to do it again, I would do it as Alex did it. I would not do it my way. Because of my addictive personality, I have this risk taking ability to the freaking roof, like ab like nuts level, like crazy, crazy, like just, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to go all in and with no safety net. The difference is now I have a child and I have a wife. I'm not a student in a dorm room anymore. So this like the risk is bigger and I will not recommend any guy or any girls out there who's like very adventurous and have this desire for novelty take into consideration your environment because I I can say uh, humbly that I created some suffering in my family because of my choices and I regret that. I don't live like with deep regrets in my heart because I learned from it, but it, truthfully, like it could have been way different if I just had some uh, basic income at the same time and do, as you said, just like consistently, but I was not like this. I just went all in, no safety net, super reckless, and now I'm recovering from that. But it's okay, and I know beautiful things are, are coming ahead of me, so I'm very, like, I'm not depressed. I'm not like, oh, poor little me, this happened. I see the beauty in everything, and I'm very grateful that God, the universe, gave me these opportunities to uh, to grow because it made me so much stronger. You know, when you have to find ways to pay uh, the mortgage, to pay food, and, like, it's, I remember so many times, like, just being on my couch at 1 a.m., just having my hands like this and asking like for guidance or what's the next step and just almost falling asleep like this. It happened to me many times. So again, this is not something I, I wish to everybody, but if you have to go through these very hard times, it's like it's a hero's journey. It's a season and you need to go through this season to then have the harvest of your life. Yeah, really well said, man. And um, like the this is a springboard of what's yet to come for you and Correct. um and your family and mm -hmm. like that's kind of the way you have to look at it like every 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 setback is a is a is a, is a potential comeback right oh yeah just right so yeah just keep doing what you're doing and great things are going to come and um and like you said like biggest thing um like what happened to me was at, at my job i was in a commercial account role and like you said it's freaking tough like yeah if you're starting from scratch right and i was i was starting from zero at my role mm -hmm. <clears throat> for insurance and i'm like i'm like oh, like i'm like oh, i want i can do this i can do this like i know i can do it i love business i love entrepreneurship but the revenue wasn't coming in it wasn't yeah. coming in at all right like i'm talking like I, was, I had my base i was getting my base salary but the revenue targets that they were trying to make me hit i had no guidance i had no help I, mm. I was literally like on the fly, learning on the fly, like you said, yeah. right? And even even though I have my base, like it's scary, right? Because in Canada, that's uh, a, it's that, expensive also to live, right? Normally, yeah. Right. So it was an absolute pressure cooker for my personality. So after all that, I got humbled. I got demoted from that mm -hmm. role because I didn't hit those targets. And, you know, I'm doing a role that I don't necessarily want to do, but I know like everything that I'm working towards on the side is going to be the catalyst, the springboard to send me to that next level of where I want to go. Absolutely. So, yeah, both the both of our egos got hit. Um, but again, what's what's bad for the ego is good for the soul. So yeah. um, being humbled by life like it, you know, all, oh. all you can do like life will humble us in different ways. Right. So, oh, yeah. Um, of course, there's no way around so, it. There's no yeah. way around it. Like you, you like uh, when you think one thing, like oh yeah, I got this, I got this. And life's like yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just learning to be fluid, be fluid mm. with with an adaptive, like ad yeah. like ad adaptability and fluidity are kind of like my my two go to words now because you have to be that way when when shit hits the fan and when yeah. things aren't working. And if right? you're ambitious, right? If you, like guys like us who want to create some lasting impact on the world, I think we have this uh, internally. We want like to be the best, and so we have like yes, this ego maybe to get recognition and and be seen as winners. But there's also this social and altruistic side. So like, we have this duality of like self selflessness and selfishness, which is totally normal. It's actually it's in, yeah. in everybody around the world. The thing is, those people who don't 
desire to do greater things. And again, nothing against them because we need them. And I really, I am actually very grateful for everybody who have this maybe uh, lower wage job, which are necessary for society to function. But they say that the guy, he just wants to watch Netflix in the evening and, and drink his beer. And then weekends, he has his two days off. Amazing. He likes this way. For me, when I'm like this, I'm very, very sad. I cannot imagine living my life this way. So obviously there will be more hits. There will be more trials and errors and things I will do. And then, oh, it's a failure. It's a failure. And then it's painful. And then I'm humbled. Maybe somebody who has a more traditional path, uh, maybe a less like a smaller influence might not feel as much pain of failure. But my question is for them, what about the pain of mediocrity and not even believing that you can achieve something greater? Everybody has some hidden dreams, some like if you really listen to yourself, there will be some some voice. Oh, man, I wish I could do this. Why don't you go for it? What is stopping yeah. you really? What is your ex Oh, we froze. Why do you think oh, you're going to do this? Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. Like, and um, that's, that's a, I love that statement. I'd, la I'd rather live a life of oh wells than what ifs. Mm, yeah. Oh, well, that didn't work. Next. Oh, well, oh, that didn't work. Next. Be or like yeah. in sales, they're like the best, the next best word uh, to know is next. So, yeah, things, uh, you know, things aren't going to work all the time. But as long as but we know we're on the right direction when things aren't working, because that means we're pushing hard enough. We know we're not mm -hmm. pushing hard enough if we're not getting enough rejection. So when we're getting constantly yeah. rejected, like there's like, like there's a book that my mom and dad used to read. They were like they uh, when they did uh, MLM for Amway. They did MLM mm -hmm. for Amway. I yeah. did MLM for Isogenics, right? I try. We, you know, everyone's probably done an MLM or, or been around an MLM. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an but one but the books, the books they make you read, man, are like those stick with you. Those life lessons and principles stick with you forever. Um, yeah. And one of them was reject me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and then like one of my favorite ones was I bought it at a nice genetics event was the compound effect by Darren Hardy. That book stuck with me and has, yeah. has stayed with me all those lessons forever because, and I've, and I've reread it a few times, just anytime I get caught in ruts or, or I just need a mental reset because, um, Biggest thing, uh, biggest thing I've learned is like, doesn't matter how fast we go, how slow we go at what we're working towards. Consistency is king. Consistency is what sticks. The only difference between people that are great and people that are good or, 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 or okay is an insane level of like an insane work ethic and an uh, incessant work ethic, but combined with consistency. So like that's the biggest thing right like because i get yeah. i get mega distracted like i get um it's like my that adhd brain where like i can mm -hmm. be you know like so so insanely focused or so divided Scattered. with my attention yeah, right yeah. so yeah. battling that like like this morning that's why i love having like an early podcast or or a late night podcast because it lets me dive right into it right away and i'm good at mm -hmm. that i'm good at doing things on the fly um, that's just the way my brain works, right? I can throw myself into things and yeah, I'll stumble a little bit, but, but that's where I can show like people, I can show people like, Hey, like I stumble all the time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't stop me from working towards my goals or my yeah. dreams. And, and that's why, and that, and that's sometimes, uh, that that's the sacrifice of being mega consistent is like, you know, as long as you show up all the time, you're not always going to be perfect. But if, as long as you show up all the time, you're going to continue to get better and better and better. And then people are going to listen to mm -hmm. like, holy smokes, like he sounds like he's on fire. Right. So and that's yeah. you, you only get that. You only get there by being mega consistent. So let yes. that be a lesson to, to all of us. Like as long as we're consistent, as long as we keep pushing, like every day we're doing a little bit, a little bit, little bits of time compounded will outwork um, short periods of time. Or yeah, short stints of time where you're yeah. really consistent. Longer minutes. But you're doing at long, longer, longer, longer mm -hmm. units of time. Smaller yeah. units of time compounded will yeah. will win every single time. And I think this is a good uh, intro to speak about flow state because I know you wanted to speak about flow. 
And uh, just to, to finish with your idea, like some people can listen to me and say, oh, Anthony, he, he's a good communicator. But before having these kind of calls, I had thousands of hours of teaching, of coaching, of consulting, of door-to-door -door sales, of, um, yeah, yeah. So everything you can imagine with a one-on-one -on -one setting, I, I did it for hundreds or thousands of hours. Just languages was like three, 4,000, maybe even more. So the Skype calls, I'm used to having them. It's not a secret for me. I don't feel any pressure from recording this content, even if it was to be shown to a, a million people or, or more, because for me, it's like I'm speaking with a friend. And this, for me, creates this flow state. Why? So how you can reach this flow state? You need to look at activities that when you do them, you lose track of time. So I'm not saying like you should create this flow state. Actually, if you're just authentic and in tune with what you like already, flow state will happen to you. It will come into your life. I think there's there's ways maybe to, to make it happen, but I really just prefer to realize, okay, I have a day of work. I have this uh, task list. And I know these activities, when I go into them, for example, video editing, I used to know nothing about video editing. And when I learned it, at first I, I sucked. But then as I became a bit better and a bit more efficient, and I had some, some results on Instagram, some videos going viral, then you start to get a liking of it. And just, I was, bro, I'm telling you, I could like just focus on the, on the CapCut software, one, two hours, and just like tunnel vision. I forget everything yeah. else. I have a family, who cares? Just like a bit autistic. But that was like, in this moment, it was perfect for what I was doing because I had to produce this final result. And one thing about flow also is, once you have this uh, gratification from the activity, and that's going to link also with the, the, your question about quick dopamine and uh, long-term yeah. gratification. Yeah. So when you have flow, you get satisfaction from the activity. Maybe you see something tangible. So for example, I made a video. My video is finished. I'm proud of this. Even, okay, let's say you're a beginner and it's not the best video. It doesn't matter. You, you created something. The human is made to be a creator. We're not made to just be consumer. Why are you, when you scroll like this doom scroll for 15 minutes or more minutes, why do you think you feel like shit after, after that? Because you're frying your receptors and you just consume a glutenry. You just take from everybody else, but you didn't give anything back, right? Yeah. And in your soul, you really actually want to give something. It's like you just took, you took, you took, you ate, you ate this big buffet. And now, oh man, I feel horrible. Yeah, but if you were the chef making this buffet, I'm sure you, you feel much better having a hundred guests than just being the the fat slob in the in the corner who ate like 15 desserts, right? So <laughs> just my two cents. I, I, I you I are a creator. Yeah. Just yeah. start to create something. Yeah. Don't just consume. Even if it starts small, even if you just want to make posts about like a picture post of something nice in your house, in your garden, with your kids, you can start something small without any big deals of, oh, I need to start my personal brand. Just create something that you like and share it with the world. And it doesn't matter if nobody looks at it. It doesn't matter if nobody likes it. You did it for yourself because you had satisfaction to share it with the world. And just from that little spark can create something amazing over time, but not instantaneous but still it's it's flow anyway so yeah and i love that you you spoke to that because that is how flow state happens is like mm -hmm. doing activities that we really enjoy and then it turns into work because we can just spend all all day on it right yeah. time just time just like just boom it just goes at such a rampant pace because you're you're so in flow you're enjoying at each yeah. and every moment of that activity and for me, th these conversations are, a, I get such a massive dopamine hit from it. Because massive flow, bro. Massive. I'm being massive flow. Like I can be so vulnerable. I can be so authentic. And all of my guests are amazing. And yeah. I don't care if my guest, even if one of my guests isn't amazing, maybe they're a tick or they, or they yeah. came across arrogant. I don't even care That's because, fine. because I'm producing, I'm like working on, to, on an activity that. Like, I feel like I'm sharing something with the world. I'm sharing a piece of myself, a piece of content with the world. You are, you are. And, 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 and each time I do that, like, 
that that habit of creating something versus consuming something like you said we're all consumers but it's it's just it's just kind of like rebalancing that scale of consumption to create to cre creating my my scale is getting more and more heavily focused on creation so right. and because of that i'm noticing that i'm doom scrolling less mm. right because i don't have time because it takes so much time because i'm a solopreneur right like yourself right. yes if i want if i want more and more of that flow state i want more and more of that healthy dopamine where i'm not chasing shiny object syndrome and i've gotten caught in that as well mm -hmm. the more that i create the better i feel the better uh when i go back to work I feel refuel. I feel like I've been refueled. I feel like yeah. I've been re-energized. Absolutely. And I can go back to my family and be like, boom, like I just, I tell, I tell my wife all the time, like, oh my God, these like, I'm getting traction. I'm getting, my process is working. Right. Yes. And I know it doesn't always work. Sometimes you have flops. Sometimes you have episodes really, like, oh man, that, all right. That, that didn't resonate with them. Right. It's but okay. It's, it's okay. all right. It's all right. You're going to have flops, but you're going to have things that boom, they just take off and you're like, holy smoke. I don't know what I did or what I said, but let's just keep it going. Right. So, yeah. And for instance, that was, uh, I like to run 30 day challenges on, on YouTube shorts. Right. And I was mm -hmm. doing it on, um, Instagram too. Still Instagram trumped the, the, um, the content that I was doing for the sleep hygiene challenge on YouTube. But mm -hmm. one of my shorts on, on, uh, YouTube that got like almost 3000 hits. And that was mm -hmm. just, me talking about sleep people really like sleep asmr so and then they started asking they're like oh like can you do sleep sleep asmr and i'm like done <laughs> like so yeah so then i started whispering is, and all i've been doing is whispering and saying like exactly bro i'm like i'm like oh uh today we we focus on a night you know doing a nice bath before bed and just i don't know people just loved it it resonated with them so i'm like all right let's try it so Listen anything can work and it's just like listen to what the customer wants mm -hmm. listen to what your audience wants and like i'm a, a big part of you know being a creator and your content creation is like yeah you're, you you want to post things that uh, matter to you and that you want to share with the world but on the other side as people as you're building your community listen to what they want listen to what resonates with them because they're your potential customer in the future right yep. so although i don't have any potential i mean i do have affiliate uh, partners that I'm affiliated with, right. That help, have helped me, like you said, with the digital marketing aspect of things, building a sales funnel, building my blog. This has been like the evolution of Alex and mindset over the last five, five years, mm -hmm. right. It's already been five years with, and then with a the podcast. So what I, where I see things are going is I'm going to have key affiliate partners and then my own products and services that I will be able to sell to customers. Mm -hmm. But my ultimate dream is putting all that together. And then living full time, like having a full time income off of that affiliate marketing, right? Like the the three to five streams of income, like mm -hmm. everyone, right? The mm -hmm. passive income, having that in conjunction with a personal training brand, right? Because I love health and wellness, right. and I've always wanted to do that. So I know exactly what I want to do. Um, yeah. It's just a matter of like refining it, right? Give it like, okay, what are the steps? What's the process, right? Yeah. So, and then if it doesn't work, boom, I'll 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 pivot, I'll adjust. But that's where I want to go. I see the vision. I see it clear like clear as mud so yeah and that's the biggest thing have, is like yeah question for you do you have uh you what's your take on mentors because i like with everything you're saying i feel like you you should have already like you do you have some guys that you work with them one-on-one -on -one or maybe in group uh, coaching because i have for, my, for myself right now and i feel like it's a massive difference because the thing is when you're a solopreneur it's so easy to get overwhelmed by so you have too much free time, so you don't know how to manage it or how to use it. And then you don't know how to prioritize. So it's like, it took me years to be able to really see what is important, what is priority, um, how to decide what to do today and have a discipline. Like a, I don't just live my life and say, oh, I wake up. Oh, now it's seven o'clock. Oh, now it's eight. Now it's nine. No, I have a an alarm clock every day at 4 30. that's my choice i'm not forcing anybody to but between four and five i tested for me 4 30 is the best every single day even on the weekends so naturally i will sleep around 10 30 11. and then i have my morning routine some people are for that some people are against that i personally love them i think it's a massive difference for me and by having this routine and good habits then 
by doing this the first part of my day, the first few hours, then I am ready to give to my family, to my customers, to my friends, to my business partners, to everybody else around in the world who needs the best version of Anthony. I can only give this if I took care of me. And that started around two months ago because before that I had a phase like I was not going to the gym anymore. I was just like a, a father at home and I was not taking care of myself as much. But then two months ago, I joined a uh, private coaching. Well, it's a group coach coaching, but it's mindset, habits, fitness, nutrition. And I'm going to the gym every single day. I'm doing uh, 100 burpees when I wake up. I'm going for walks. I'm reading. I'm meditating. I'm doing all of this beautiful stuff. And bro, my energy level, my confidence, the way I talk, the way I walk, the way I think, everything is clearer because people yeah. don't understand how the physical is so much connected with the mental, the emotional, yeah. the spiritual. It's like, oh, it's not blocks. It's not boxes. It's not blocks. It is absolutely just one you. Yeah. You take care of yourself yeah. and then you can take care of others. It sounds no. cliche like this uh, oxygen mask in the airplane. But some people are like, yeah, let's just go directly to the work after an hour of traffic and tell me how you feel with a snoozing five times. Sometimes I wake up before my alarm at 428, for example, and I feel refreshed. So go and try that, you know? Yeah. And then wake and then um, like go going to like the sometimes the preparation of like the mindset for the next day begins the night before. So yeah. Yeah, like every night, every night, because I post my last piece of content for the sleep hygiene challenge, and every mm -hmm. night I post it, right? So I'm thinking it for me, it's like I post that last piece of content of the day, and I'm thinking about it in my dreams. I'm like, I'm like, they, you know, like are people gaining value from this? And I wake up, and that's the first thing I look at, right? I look at like how mm -hmm. you know how did it how did it perform? Like how you know how was the caption, the title, um, and like it's like it's like like you said, going all in on your personal brand, but. In, in order for me to do all that, I got to be anchored to my routine. So like you said, yeah. I've been late laser focused on, I need two to three, uh, hit training sessions per week. I'm really mm -hmm. big into hit training, right? Nice. Just with uh, adjustable dumbbells. And then I've gotten these like grip strengtheners. So like, yeah. I don't know if, yeah, you probably can't see on the camera, but like the, I'm really trying to grow my forearms cause my buddy's like, he's really into forearm training and we <laughs> did an arm wrestle and like, I could almost be with my left arm, but I can't be with my right. So I'm like, <laughs> I really, he, He's been training his forearms, like forearm specific training, along with his regular workouts for like over a year. So oh. you can imagine his strength. Like, yeah. he can just go like this. He doesn't even have to, like, he'll wait to, for me to gas out and then he'll just go. So, <laughs> and I know it's a dumb thing to, to want to win at, but. No, it's but, not. you know, right? It's just, it's, it's, it's fun, right? Everything right? It's is a challenge. Yeah, fun and, and challenge. Why not? Yeah. Everything why is not? Good. Right. I don't care if I lose. Like, I, he, he beats me all the time. But along the way, I know I'm going to get stronger. And mm -hmm. like, d like all the things that he does, right? He does it daily. He, he does his like weekly workouts with the weights. And then he does his, he calls it his daily, where he does, like you said, 100 sit ups, 100 push ups, 100 squ body weight squats. Yeah. That's like in between, pretty much does it every day. Mm -hmm. Plus, he does those wrist, those wrist grip strengtheners. I just got some of those in, from Amazon. Those things are unreal. So I've been just doing, you know, whatever, hundred reps a day, like 50, 50 nice. reps, but it strengthens. It's just these micro movements that we yeah. need to be able mm -hmm. to have the strength to win at, at an arm wrestle or, or to have the strength for, for, you know, better deadlifts, better pull-ups because the first thing that goes on those movements, cause they're a compound movement is our grip. So if our true. grip's not strong enough, right? you're not going to be able to yeah, the have rates. the stamina or the endurance to be able yeah. to do an arm wrestle. So they're all congruent. And same thing with golf. Like me and my buddy is really into golf and that just that movement, like that massive, like, like, mm -hmm. um, same thing with arm wrestling and golf, the, the same muscles. So yeah. I've been really working on, we're really working on that. And then I just got to incorporate it into the weight side, but I'm just like trying to ease my my muscles into it with with the the micro movement with the the grip strengtheners, but yeah, it's all, all these little things, right? Like with our routine, that man, they make a world of a difference, right? Going to bed so on time, um, doing the, the like the morning meditation. Like last night, I did it before bed, right? I don't always get to it in the morning because I like to sleep in as late as possible, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I like to. I find like everyone's got their chronotype. Some people yeah, are. Of uh, course. Or a morning lark, some people are a night owl, and then other people, I'm kind of that in between where 
I can, I like to get up early or I like to stay up a little bit later, be a night owl and, you know, sleep in a little bit later. But I find that sweet spot for me is like 11 PM or 10, 10 to 11 PM and then like seven to 8 AM. So, mm -hmm. so you're, and that's yeah, pretty, what I'm like. In yeah. the middle, like for me, it's not like this. Like I can wake up very early, and I also I think there's a genetic part of this. Like for example, me, I can sleep, I think much less than more most people. And uh, for example, from if I sleep from ten thirty to four or eleven to five, eleven to four thirty, I can be fine. But most people will be like, oh, I don't feel good. Yeah. I cannot breathe. I'm not I feel like a I'm, zombie that going yeah, to bed that late. Really. That early. <laughs> but bro, I think there's also a part of okay, you're a very inspired guy, you have many projects, but I I think most people could benefit from sleeping less if they actually had an inspiring life and projects that they would love to complete. Now, yes, I have my marketing stuff, I have my coaching stuff, but I'm also building this entrepreneur community here in Georgia, which is a very new project of mine with the same friend that I'm doing the online community, but we want to build something in person in this country where the standards of living are, are much lower than North America. And I'm not trying to brainwash people into becoming Westerners, quite the opposite. I love Georgia and I think they should continue to think the way they think. But if the average income per month is three or $400 full time, not oh, per week, God. per month, imagine if we teach them how to make three, four K a month online to a hundred, that's, that's our plan. We want to train 20 to a hundred people, entrepreneurs in the, the youth, most uh, importantly, how to make a few K a month online so that then their families are impacted and then they have more wealth and we teach them how to be good shepherd of their money and uh, how to uh, acquire properties. And then we start with this micro impact in the country, but then these people have a ripple effect on the next generation and next level. and how can I wake up in the morning and not be inspired when I have such a thing to work on? Because I it's love literally, that. it's limitless. Like my, my yeah. grand grand kids can have a mansion in uh, 80 years because of what I did like in the next five years. Make sense. Yeah. So that's and that, for me. And that's how my heart that's is. How, yeah. wow. No, you're, it sounds like your heart's full, man. Like I love yeah, that yeah. because, because you've got a localized approach to the community that you're in, but you're, you're letting like, that you let, let the people love that group, love that content, love that, those teachings and those lessons and, um, and education that you're helping them with. Right. Yeah. You're, 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 you're creating future potential entrepreneurs that like, exactly. Right. That are, they want to grow, they want to do better. They want to, and then that will build up the community and then they'll share that with others globally. Right. Yes. Yes. Cause that's what I want. It's a pilot I, I want, project. Right. I want, I want mindsets to go global. Like, my, my little tagline in all of my episodes is I want to inspire 30 plus million listeners worldwide for their brain and body, brain and body yeah. optimization. Amazing. Right? I don't care if I hit that number. I just want a number that's so huge that I'll, I'll end up among the stars along the way. Yes, absolutely. So that's what, that's what gets me up in the morning. That's what makes me want to continue to do the podcast and not quit. I might slow down. I might have gaps in my content, but, um, like the vision is so clear. Right. And, and like it's it, it's it's like moments like these, like where um, we, our our vision is clear and we know where we want to go. That's when you're like like you said, you get the tunnel vision and yeah. people can get behind. I want to transition from selling products and services to selling my vision and my ideas. That's mm -hmm. what I really want to do. That's the level. That's like the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Like for me, that's like true inner inner fulfillment. But we have to be in, like, in order to be in, inner, have that inner fulfillment, we have to do activities and projects that fill our soul, fill our cup, right? Yeah. When I do nowadays, because I'm, I'm evolving and everyone has these evolutions of themselves and these seasons of life, I'm evolving away from being a salesperson. I don't want that mm -hmm. attached to my brand and my identity. I'm, I, yes, I can sell, I can sell all day long. It doesn't matter what it is, but I don't want to be known as the salesperson. I want to be known yeah. as the like, Alex Muir mindset founder and thought, thought leader. Yeah. I want to be a thought leader and a, a forward thinker of like, no, Alex Muir is like a forward thinker, a thought leader, a creator that built something that 
millions of people could get behind. Like he built, he built like a personal development evolution of like optimizing people and, and creating the next generation of learners and thinkers. Right. And that that look that clarity when, when they exactly where like they listen to a piece of content and they so they're not so feeling so lost because I feel like a big problem with our generation is we're depressed we're lost we're our attention is very divided and and I want to help people find their clarity like yeah. I have clarity doing this I have absolute mm -hmm. certainty and clarity in a world that's uncertain yes. so and I, I feel that's like everyone example. wants that and like that's, that's that's how we can optimize our brain, our, our mind and our soul is, you know, helping people find clarity and like yeah. your community, your community that you're building, you're helping people that are, that are not, not necessarily where they want to be. Right. Like mm -hmm. where it's a very, very tight income, but if yeah. you can help even the, like help people just even learn how to make another hundred, 100 to $200 a month, yeah. that's huge. It's 50% the the impact, yeah. the impact that it's going to have on them and their family it's going to be mind blowing. So like, yeah. I totally believe, like, I Can't totally exactly believe imagine. like it, it's gonna, it's gonna be a game changer for, for yeah. like teaching people, like, like, uh, I don't know if it was Zig Zagler or someone else that said like, if you want to be, if you want to be a millionaire or if you want to be like, do really, really well, um, help, help other people make a lot of money and then you will make a lot of money, but help, yeah. but have your, your mission and your goal to help, a lot of people do really, yeah. really well, right? And if, so you, if, we, if, we, if we help enough people do really, really well, we will do in, insanely well. That's a no brainer. And it's funny that you said game changer because it's exactly the name of the my WhatsApp group where I, I took all my Avengers guy, the game changers of Georgia. I literally, I kid you not, this is the name of the guys I, I gathered. So we're like five to eight guys, me and Elijah as like, the captain of the team for now, but of course there will be like different responsibilities. Everybody has their strengths, their weaknesses, their assets, their uh, connections. But once you have this vision and you, you start to put details on it, everybody listening, you would be amazed and surprised how fast the cooperative components can manifest in your existence by having this clarity. Um, I will give you an example. So as we got clear that we wanted an apartment well, we wanted an office in the capital in Tbilisi and potentially a house outside the capital, more in nature, in the mountains, maybe like 15, 20 minutes away to have retreats, to have seminars, a place more like social. Literally like the same day, I opened my Instagram account and there was an ad for a new project being built outside the city around 20 minutes in the mountain, a bit luxury, <laughs> Like exactly like I, we, I, was po I, I spoke about with my friend. Look, this also there's a, a part of like Meta listening to us, but I still believe that this is very cool stuff. And don't guys, don't be afraid to ask for, for big things because, you know, in my times of challenges financially, I got more connected to my spirituality and I realized if you always settle for little things like, oh, Oh, I'm going to pay the rent and pay this food. Like this is how you, you operate all the time. You don't let anything bigger than that come to you. And now as I start to, to think bigger, dream bigger, act bigger also because action needs to come. It's not just meditating and then praying and then you don't take action. Like it has to be equal. I think the esoteric and the terrestrial physical stuff. But as I allowed myself to have bigger visions, bigger ambitions, with a purpose, with a pure purpose, a, a pure defined impact I want to create, the universe is providing the next steps, the, ne the right people at the right time. I don't need to force it. Yes, I can be proactive, but I don't need to force it. Like when people say, oh, I need to gr I'm grinding and I'm grinding. Why are you grinding? Why are you not in the river, in the canoe and just like flowing. going forward, flowing with it, you know, like, because yeah. I had it so many times that just trying to go against the, the current, the flow. And then you just, you release and then you realize, okay, well, that obviously is going very fast. Why am I not going in this direction? Well, just take this, just take the leap, just do it. And something is a bit scary or very scary, but you go for it like I did. And it's just like, it's going. So I'm very happy to, to see how it will unfold. But 
yeah, when you when you find something like this for yourself, it's obvious you cannot ignore it because the pain of not doing it. And I think I wrote about this uh, in a poll, sir. The, when the pain of not doing it becomes bigger than the pain of action, that's when you actually take action for something bigger than yourself. So that's where we are right now. I love that. That was your your recent post. Yeah. Like, yeah. In the um, captions. Yeah. You'll yeah, like you'll you'll never not take action on something that like your intuition is like it's tugging at you to do it. Like yeah. and I'm really I really listen to my gut on a lot of things and I feel like a lot of other people like listen to your intuition. Like everyone has it. You know, it might be different for you, but really listen to your gut what your gut's telling you and your intuition because it's usually right. It's usually yeah. like no, this is wrong for you, Alex. This is not where you're meant to go. Or this is not this is not the career path for you. Mm -hmm. You're meant for something a little bit different. So really, really pay attention to that, right? And and then figure out how your skills are transferable with what you're currently doing. Cause like you said, we're never starting from zero. We're never starting from scratch, really. I was uh I was in a therapy appointment about this and we talked about this. Mm -hmm. And and my therapist was like, No, Alex, like are we re are you really starting from zero? You're not really starting from zero. You're starting you're starting from the foundation that you've already built yes. up to that point. And then from there, you're just taking that foundation from all those skills, all the um careers or or um main career that you're in, mm -hmm. and you're carrying that the rest of the way to whatever it is you're gonna do next. So you're never really starting from zero, you're starting from where you're at. And like you said, like um, I'm working on getting more, more mentorship, more coaching. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm part of communities for, for YouTube, for the, like Omar's community, like his, yeah, yeah. I love his community. He's, he's mm -hmm. constantly letting us put our content in there, which is awesome. So it's getting shared with everyone. And, um, so I'm like part of the online communities, but I want to, yeah, like I do have a few, like he, like I find, like, I find a lot more value in the in-person communities too. Yeah, because because that's how you can truly get um, like you need that face time to really be like, hey, like, here's what I'm planning to do. Just you need to be, be around those people that are entrepreneurial that are have that expansive thinking to be able to go to that next level. So absolutely. Yeah. So how you're talking about building your community and you're doing it like online and offline. You need to yeah, have both. Yeah. I believe both you need time. to have both because I, do, doing just online is you, you can get lost in in the sea because as you're building a big community and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger you need a lot more people moderating that and, ad, and yeah, having admins for that course. community so um that's why it's it's so good to be like find your key like like i love your tagline on your instagram master connector yeah that's how, that's how i feel that's mm -hmm. how i feel with with doing this podcast and my brand is like you are you are i want i want to i want to connect people from all over the globe to each other and yep. to me but but i i love i love how like doing this podcast, like, like people, like I want to create that gravitational pull. Like they come to my podcast and then they leave and they're like, holy shit. Like that was an amazing conversation. I want to come back and I want to bring my friends back. So that's yes, my, yes. that's my, my mission. That is my daily goal for the rest of my life with this is like, I want, I want to, I want people to leave and, and be better off from speaking with me and, 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 um, and their soul being filled. Yeah. And, and it re-energized by having the conversation with me by being mm. on my show. Beautiful. Very well said. Yeah. How do you feel? Is it uh, the time? It's a good yeah. hour. I feel like it's a good uh, yeah, yeah. wrapping up. Absolutely. Yeah. So we can, we can leave it there. We've covered pretty much like, and I, I didn't even, I, I totally went off of the, all the questions, but I know I, but that's I, fine. Um, I yeah, knew it would be like this, bro. If I, I know, I know. With me, you cannot script yeah. too much because like no, this question, no. and they're great questions. And yeah. I think we could do yeah. maybe like even I could do a written yeah. posts on them with you, like yeah. call, collab on written yeah. content, no, or even totally. be clips. Yeah. But uh, I think this episode by itself is gold. Let's clip it. Let's use it. Let's have people uh, consume it. And I really believe it. I set the intention that the right people who are they need to listen to this content right now, they will find it, no matter if it's. 50 views, 500, 5,000, it doesn't matter. We took this hour for time to be together, to share from our heart what is yeah. the most, yeah. the truest version, the, the realest stuff. And I am so grateful because for me, this is part of my purpose. I really love podcasting too. So thank you, bro, for this opportunity. And um, if people want to connect with me, 
I will uh, give you the link for my community. I think that's a good place to start. So everybody Absolutely. wants to join us, have some uh, basic guidance. It's only 50 bucks a month, so it's a paid community, but it's not super expensive. So you learn there how to align with your values, with your mission, to let go what is no longer good for you and really connect with your health, your wealth, relationships. Uh, Elijah Justin, my partner, he's an amazing guy, multimillionaire, life coach, business acquisition, real estate, he's doing many things. So there's that. Also for marketing, uh, if you are interested in having some kind of uh, short form content, copywriting, any help with your brand, I can help with this. And so you can connect with me on Instagram. I will just drop my links, uh, email, whatever people like. I have all the platforms, so that's not a problem. So yeah, that's. I would love to work with people who are ready to work. If you are committed to work and you are 100% all in, in yourself, I bring the same level of commitment. Like when people are ready to go, I see the fire in their eyes. Bro, I am the same. I will just go to war with these people until they have like massive results and just, I love to grow with people. That's what I love to do. I want to see the best, the human potential. It inspires me like these beautiful, like let's create some gardens of souls, just expanding and just whew, everything is amazing. So that's how I see the world. I love that. I love that. I think it was a pleasure having you on the Mindset Podcast again. And we're definitely going to do uh, part three, part four. Let's like go. Many, many Let's parts. go. And awesome. we'll, we'll, we'll create uh, other uh, p- uh, spinoff pieces of content yes. from like kind of those questions and really dive 100%. deep. But we really dove deep into like expand some thinking, enhancing the soul. And yeah, send me your links to, all, to your community, to your, your services. Yep. I want to share that. I want to share that with the Mindset community. And um yeah, I'll be I'll be putting that in every single clip that I post. So let's go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, so brother. I'll I'll send you the raw the raw video for this unedited, yep. so you can you can you can edit it. I will and make some I'll, magic with that. I'll, I'll be me. I'll be I'll be making some magic with mine as well. So <laughs> yeah, there's gonna yeah, yeah. we're we're probably gonna get twenty or 30, 30 clips. Probably like oh yeah. Let let let's see how much we can blow up this episode. Yes, 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 yes. I'll probably have, per, uh, yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah let's per, see. Per Put it on. I'm pretty confident, bro. I'm pretty. Are you on? Are you on uh, YouTube and TikTok as well, or just Instagram? Uh, I try to focus now on uh, on X and Instagram, like right. I do for now. Right. But I know it, it all platform will come eventually. But I think for now, listening to my mentors, it's better to focus on one, maybe yeah. two. But yeah, uh, yeah I one, think yeah. just to yeah. get too distracted. Yeah, master no, one sure. first. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll be I'll be uh, scheduling and posting all these to YouTube, and um, I'll get the edits done today, and I'll probably post it post this episode like later today. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks I'll send you all the I'll send you all the details. And uh, again, pleasure having you on the Mindset Podcast. And uh, can't wait to do this again. Thank you again. See you, everybody. See you. Bye bye. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Mindset. If you liked what you heard, be sure to subscribe, rate, and review us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or YouTube. Your support helps us bring you more inspiring content and ents- and expert insights. Join our community on social media at mind.sep on Instagram, at mind-sep on YouTube, and visit our website, Alexander Muir, that's Amazon Mike, UIR.com forward slash blog for more exclusive resources and updates. Until next time, keep optimizing your mind and body and see you in the next episode.